All right, friends, let's do our synonyms and our antonyms for our words. So let's talk about the word reflect. Remember, reflect means to think about something. So if you're thinking about it, what might a synonym or something that means the same, what kind of word may mean the same as reflect? I, that's right, wonder. Wonder is a good synonym, I wonder. You know, another good one that you might use uh, is consider. Because when you reflect, you're considering. I'm reflecting before I make a choice. Sometimes I, I reflect or I consider before I make it. All right. What might mean the opposite then? If you're not thinking about it, you're trying to ignore. I would say ignore is a good antonym. Something that means the opposite of thinking about it. All right. Let's move to soiled. Soiled. If soiled means to make dirty, what are some words that means uh, to make dirty? Think about when you're out playing. What does your mom say? Don't get what on your jeans. You're crawling around in the grass. You're going to get grass stain. So maybe stain is a good word for soiled. Stain, if you stain it. And you can put the ed on there that's fine um if it's not stained or soiled the opposite would mean it is that's right clean clean is our antonym it means the opposite of being stained or soiled or dirty all right let's go to accident accident an unintentional event i didn't mean to do it it was an accident that's right, it could be a mishap. One that Mrs. Heck loves this word, remember, because we learn from these. It was a mistake. A mistake is a great synonym for accident. It was an accident, I mean, didn't mean to do it. I made a mistake. That's right. All right, what about antonym? What's the opposite of um, making a mistake or mishap? Hmm? How about if you didn't accidentally do it, you might have been successful. Okay. Um, what about uh, intentional? Couldn't we use intentional because it means you intended to do it and here you did not mean or intend to do it? It's a good one. All right, what about base? If base is the lowest point of something, then what would you say is the uh, another word for that? When we say we're building your base of learning, we're building your foundation. That's right. Foundation is a great synonym. Foundation. Whoops, forgot my D in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mrs. Heck. See, I made a mistake. <laughs> foundation, okay? And if it's not the foundation or the base or the lowest part, it's the very top. That is right. So antonym would be top. The opposite of foundation or base is the top. Highest point. All right. And our last one, cheer. When you're shouting for joy and you're cheering, what are you doing? Think about those cheerleaders. What are they doing out there? They're trying to in do what for their team? A good synonym is encourage. They are encouraging them to do well. They're cheering them on. They're shouting for joy. Words of encouragement. So if you're not encouraging someone, remember, dis means not. So discourage would be your antonym. Not encouraging. Not. All right. Those are your antonyms and synonyms. Of course, by all means, if you have some of your own, please, please, please use them. Anything that helps you remember your words, okay? All right. And we'll be back for our um, sentences.